Welcome to Effortless Coding. My name is Samuel and I'm glad that you've joined us in a new episode. Today I want to introduce Python to you. I've gotten a lot of requests from people who want to learn what Python is. Python is a programming language, which is one of the most popular programming languages currently. And it's high level object oriented uh, programming language. It's actually easily understood uh, and it's easy to learn because it uses the basic English syntax. Uh, using the object-oriented model. There are different uses of Python. Python is used for web development. Now, web frameworks such as Django, Pyramid, Flask, and Bottle, and advanced content management systems like Plon and Django CMS uh, actually use Python in development. So if you're interested in web development using Python, Python will be for you and you'll actually use those frameworks. Secondly, as you can see on my screen, Python can also be used to develop games. Now, there are useful libraries for development of interactive games such as PySoy and PyGame. So once you learn about these libraries, this is just an introductory uh, video. So once you learn about these libraries that can help you develop interactive games, then you can actually go ahead and develop your games. The third and one of the most important um, uh, uses of Python, as you can see on the screen, is Python is used for scientific and numeric applications. Now, Python provides the skeleton for applications that deal with computations and scientific data processing. I'm sure you've heard of FreeCAD, FreeCAD. Most architects use these, you know, to do renders and all that. Um, you've heard of ArchiCAD and all that. So there's a software called FreeCAD that is actually used uh, that was developed by Python. There's also a numerical application called Abacus, Abacus, A-B-A-Q-U-S, that was developed using Python. So if you're interested in scientific and numeric applications, Python is also for you. Number four, and this is actually why Python is actually one of the most popular languages, programming languages currently for developers, it is actually used in artificial intelligence and machine learning. So Python is one of the most favored languages of data science professionals, and Python is a must tool in all these courses. So if you want to do codes that would predict uh, how customers are going to behave in the next few months and all that, Python, that is called machine learn learning basically, where Python will actually be able to help you predict what will happen in future based on data that you've used your model I mean, based on the data that you've given to a model you've created and trained and tested it, Python will actually be able to, you know, predict for you. Same thing to artificial intelligence and all that. So that is also another use, uh, that is also another reason why people use Python. The other use is for desktop graphical user interface. Python offers many graphical user interface kits and frameworks such as PyKit, that is PyQt, and PyGTK. Those are libraries and frameworks that you can use to develop graphical user interface toolkits. Uh, we also have Kiwi, Kinta, ETC, as you can see on the screen. That makes desktop application development very easy for Python. The other obvious reason or use for Python is software development uh, from developing complex applications that involves scientific and numeric computing to developing desktop and web applications. Python can do it all for you. The other use for Python is enterprise level and business application. Now, Python's high performance, scalability, flexibility, readability are actually all necessary for developing fully functional business applications because you know how business environments are dynamic. You need uh, a programming language that is very dynamic, very flexible, very scalable, very readable, so that it can actually develop something that is efficient for a business, um, a business case. The other uh, reason why people use Python is just for education purposes, currently like what we are doing. Python is one of the easiest languages to learn because it uses basic English syntax. So most institutions use Python to help in educating people how to program. So that is also an, a very good reason why you should learn Python because it's very beginner friendly and it's easy for anybody to learn because of the English syntax. So if you know English, Python should be very easy for you. Now, Python has also been used to develop other programming languages like Boo, Swift, and others. 
Uh, if you look at those programming languages, they borrowed ideas from Python, right? Uh, the basic uh, object-oriented, you know, syntax. The way you normally code in Python, you'll find that in Swift, you actually do the same. So, new programming languages such as Boo, Swift, they do also what we call CoffeeScript and others have used Python's design and module architecture as an inspiration behind their development. Now, the other reason is, for example, today you want to develop your own operating system. Ah, Python is there for you. Now, this Python is a secret ingredient behind many operating systems, such as uh, most, most, most lean towards Linux distribution, such as Fedora and Red Hat's Anaconda installer. We have Ubuntu's Ubiquiti installer and many others. So Python is actually combined with C, uh, to develop operating systems. For those people who've developed, or rather who have an idea of how operating systems are developed, you'll realize that most of them have been developed using the C programming language. So Python can be combined with the C programming languages to develop and design operating systems. So you can see how powerful P Python is. Another use for Python is uh, in developing web scraping apps. Now. Python is a good, good tool for extracting information, voluminous amounts of data from websites and web pages. Now, this data can actually be used in, for example, price comparison, research and development, or even, you know, job listing and all that. So Python is very good in extracting huge amounts of data from websites and web applications. And lastly, Python can actually be used for image processing and graphic design applications. Um, You've heard of 2D and 3D, so Python has actually been used in developing applications that run both 2D and 3D, such as uh, Inkspace, there is Gimp, there is Blender, there is Houdini, and so many others. So Python is a very powerful programming language that I think most of us need to learn, and I'm sure because of the feedback we've gotten from you, most of you are actually willing to learn Python. So next we're going to see how we're going to install download and install Python. Remember, it's a free and open source language. So next, we're going to cover how we're going to download and install Python. And until next time, it's kudos!